Hey guys, DT Gaming here. So we're gonna do some fishing here in Sversky. We're gonna do some float fishing. Now I just got done watching a video from the Canadian way. Um, he was doing a trophy or bust here on Sversky. <laughs> oh, he was having a good old time with the float rod. So I'm here to help him out how to catch fish that's kind of struggling with. So he's used. Um, a 2.5 kg line, I think he was using a tiny hook size using bark beetle, and we're dropping the line down to one meters. Again, 66, 153, which is right here at the very corner of D2. So this video is going to help you guys, and also Canadian Way, because he really, really hates um, float fishing. If you've seen his video, he, you could tell he hates float fishing. If he had a bat with him, um, I think his monitor would be in trouble. So invisible line, a lot of people said that works better for getting better bite rate, right? And it helps getting um, the fish as well, so. Supposed to be very, very good bite rate from what he uh, said. Um, Terrans are being caught here. Pumpkin seeds. Um, rud. And, yeah. He actually got his information from Bush Pig, actually. That's what he said. Because he looked around on Discord, couldn't find any, anything at all whatsoever. Little 65, not too bad. Ain't no good either because it's not a marker. But anyways, like I said, he looked on Discord, couldn't find anything. He decided to look on YouTube. That's when he found Bush Pig's video for the spot, uh, which he found was pretty good. There... It's pretty bad though, they're not really seeing much of any videos coming out out of um, R4 Discord or spots period. Because people are saying that the spots are full, you can't post anymore. And trophies, not a lot of people posting in trophies and a lot, a lot of people just using it for chit chat which is kind of annoying as hell. So it makes it harder to find. Um, spots that people are posting. Well, the point is, if you're looking for uh, spots, there is um, Discord servers or Facebook that's presented by um, JSK or Destro. Those two, they have their link in their profile. If you guys want to check it out, you guys can check can go there um they do post on the hot spots or no spot sharing want to get your fish all the water just walk backwards Yeah. <laughs> that's a pain in the ass but if you want to get the fish out of the water without breaking your line that's what you need to do anyways so you guys know exactly how to pull big bigger fish out of the water without breaking your line um can you pull a trophy with the same um line is another question. I don't know. That that little roach at forty two sure to heck pulled. Must be getting caught or getting a fish there, but something keeps hooking there. That was my fault. I hit the button before it was even ready. I don't know why. 
Gotta be patient. Patient, not patient. Of course, a little bleak ain't gonna give no problem whatsoever. But we gotta find a good challenge here. You really don't want to hook a fish too far to the right because you're basically running out of line to pull a fish with. It's best to cast far onto the left. If you can get a fish bite to that side, it makes it so much easier to pull the fish out of the water. But if you're at the end of your line and the fish bites, you're going to struggle. That's one thing you want to keep in mind. We definitely gotta get a bigger fish, so we can definitely see if we can catch it. I don't know if the hook size is a problem or something, something because he's I'm using some tiny hooks, so is uh, Canadian way. He was using a, uh, tiny hooks as well. Another name. And these are non-markers, guys. Every single one of these are non markers. If I want to get better fish, I can just use small hooks. Listen, uh, theoretically. Roll 88. Days. Not the fish I'm after. So another thing I noticed, okay, when I keep casting it here to the left of me, I noticed there's some moss and some late beds over there. If you want to go after pumpkin seeds, I would definitely cast it in that range. See right over there. So I'm just going to walk over here a little bit. The cast right, but right there at the very end, we should get some fish um, biting right at that spot. 
Pumpkin seeds love that type of um, cover. There's a little guy. Try not to cast into lily pads because you can get snagged and it sucks if you get snagged with the tele stick because you ain't not getting out without breaking your line or your rod. In this case, the line would break. You lose your hook and all, but. Nice 93. You know, I would be using red worms or night crawlers for the pumpkin seeds. So that means you have to change your hook size if you want to use the night crawlers. But red worms should work just fine for the pumpkin seeds. Something was biting over there, but I, I didn't know how to read that one. Okay, let's change to the red worm. And another thing about pumpkin seeds they bite more at the top of the surface the actually did wacky fishing you definitely would notice that they bite more at the surface than anywhere else or any other depth That's a white bream. Oh, it's a sisal. So sisals and breams, they push they push the float up. All breams will push the float up, but I guess the sisals uh, push the float up too. So that's what made me thought that was a white bream, because like I said, bream push the float uh, to the surface for some reason. Might have a decent fish on here. Come on, get out of the water. Well, seven eighty two. I had to work on that one. <laughs> oh no. We almost got snagged. That's not good. So 
So the CWC, that's how you get these big fish out. You got to really uh, be careful with them. You can pull them out by doing it that way. If I get one more decent sized fish, then I'll call it quits with this. Okay, now I get fish on. Just keep tapping, 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 tapping that button. Just, just don't keep just holding the button in. Don't raise the rod. Don't be shaking the rod side to side. That puts too much tension on, so that causes you to break your line. Just tap, tap, tap while you're walking back and forth, trying to pull your fish out of the water. That gives you more uh, ability to pull your fish out. Look at that, 147. Seashell or just uh, white green? The bleak. Oh, bleaks push up too. I thought bleaks pulled down. Interesting. That got 23 fish already? Little gibble. Eedy beedy gibble. Sixty nine. Yeah, if you guys definitely want to go after pumpkin seeds, this spot definitely seems to be it. I want to get at least one more decent fish out of here. But noon's approaching, so it's definitely going to be harder to get them. So, what I think I'm going to do, change it from the 2022. And I'm going to put 
tiny, um, actually I'll put it to small 18. That's almost close to tiny, but it's also a good, decent book. It might yield to a bigger, um, pumpkin seed. I never thought that they would actually be using this rod because I was just gonna not going to use it. I was going to just hold on to it and save it because like it's a uh, collector's edition. Eighty-eight. Pumpkin seeds kind of bite pretty fast. All right, I think this is going to be the last cast, guys, regardless if you get a good fish or not. But as you see, the spot's working pretty good, and this gets, shows you how, how to uh, fight a little heavier fish on on this type of rig. You just got to do what other people do. They walk back. They walk the reel and walk backwards to pull their fish out of the water. Not necessarily saying that would work all the time but you do get the idea that it does work with the telestick anyway guys I don't think I'm going to sell the fish there's no point I didn't really catch anything decent anyway guys that's going to be it for the video like the video guys hit that like button I appreciate it thank you guys for watching Bye, guys.